good morning to all of you welcome to my jurisprudence class i think class number 30 in the last video we have discussed the concept of the state in this video we are discussing the concept of welfare state you all know that state means which is having population which is having a defined territory which is sovereign and which is having the government and how should the government be there previously we were having the police state suppression and oppression that means the police are used to suppress the people who definitely do uh, who have to follow the so called concepts of the law anta de vallandarni anagadokataneke suppose if anybody comes opposite so such person should be oppressed thukkavathala padestha so dinike gathallo chatta undedi but now the concept is changed to welfare state so ours is a welfare state india they are going towards the welfare so welfare state it is a form of government where the state protects and promotes the economic and social well being of the citizens economic and social well being of the citizens of course basing on the principles of equal opportunity equal distribution of wealth and public responsibility so that's why whenever we are discussing article 39 or for that matter the directive principles of the state policy what we say the wealth should not be concentrated at one place it should be equally distributed and the government should take welfare measures anganwadi then mahatma gandhi narega all these things are welfare measure they will protect and promote the economic and social well being of the people so please remember so definitely what for the law the state should see that the citizens should lead a good life life means not only mere existence they should have proper sanitation proper lighting proper aeration that is proper so that's why any government has act has been getting more due or importance and we always discuss sustainable development that means on one side the industrial development should be there on the other side the eco protection any environment protection should be there so please remember present our modern welfare society it consists of democracy welfare and no capitalism capitalism should not be there right so when since we are discussing the jurisprudence topic emperor ashoka way back in 3rd century bc he declared that all men are my children this is the positive or welfare measure arman ashoka nagane chetlu natinchanu chedulu thavinchanu chedulu thavinchi neelandi manake vijayaraja sri krishna devaraj so ilaga these are all welfare measures 3rd century bc lone emperor ashoka or samrat ashoka ayana he said that all men are my children alage the country germany it is the first country please remember to take or to declare itself as a welfare state it is the first country which has ensured the workers against industrial risks in the workplace of course we have got the public liability insurance act 1981 but still in i mean japan germany the government itself ensures the workers so if at all something some accident take place definitely he will be insured a insurance amount will come to him and is it will be supported to his to the bereaved family and welfare measures what are the welfare measures the welfare state should have number 1 proper housing so that's why jagananna illalli untai kada so <coughs> proper housing then education is yes, definitely then health care aragya shri or health care and please remember pensions muslim manaki idu undu kada pension then employment illu konchu aragya pandittundi insurance sick leave etc these are all the welfare measures followed by a state so the directive principles part 4 of uh, chapter 44 of the constitution of india they deal with or they are the instruments uh, which uh, actually uh, govern the so called welfare measures 
Of course, they are measured as social welfare, economic welfare, community welfare, and all these things are there. So please remember Article 39. Adequate means of livelihood. Then right against economic exploitation and right to work, right to life and liberty. And Article 39A, free legal aid. This is also a welfare measure. Article 21A, compulsory, free and compulsory education. These are all welfare measures. That's why when these are implemented, it's called a welfare state. Right. So whenever you have to talk about the life and liberty, you have to remember Maneka Gandhi versus United India, 1978, our passport case. Definitely there. It is a welfare measure. So the government, this court asked the passport officer to uh, give the reasoned decision for the seizure of the passport. Otherwise, the passport of Manika Gandhi should not be seized. And right to life includes right to live with human dignity. In the case of Hussein Ava Khatun versus State of Bihar 1979, which has given paved the way to see that the person who spent 50% of that time in jails, if a, per, if a case gets conviction of three years, if he is there for more than one and a half years, he has to be released immediately. After completion of the half term of conviction period, they have to be released. This is the greatness of Sarah Khatun case. And uh, free legal aid, 39A, just now we discussed. Sukhdas versus Union Territory of Arnachal Pradesh, 1986. It was settled that free legal assistance of the state comes as a fundamental right to the accused person under Article 21. And the best welfare measure is Legal Service Authority Act, 1987, I believe. It is ensured, it is intended to the, to the people to get social justice by organizing Lokadalas. Suppose, So, if the legal uh, a decision has to come definitely it takes uh, three to four years but if you want to settle the issue then you can do it through Lokadala with the by following the provisions of uh, legal service of that act that's why whenever you are discussing the ADR alternative dispute Reso resolution mechanism section 18 of the CPC comes into play arbitration conciliation mediation then Lokalatha, Lokadat, all these things come there. So it is a provision where the welfare people of the elderly people is taken into consideration. So please remember, even fundamental life, free legal aid. So nowadays, securing the law, legal justice or legal assistance is uh, definitely it is including so much of expenses. So no person should be denied justice because of the poverty. Therefore, Article 39A of the Mm, uh, constitution has been uh, implemented and now we are they following the same and please remember it is the duty of the state to ensure justice is imparted equally so equal distribution of wealth as well as uh, justice also already i told you justice should be fair justice should be unbiased justice should be equal to both so the society will see a brighter day when the welfare sheet state is visioned correctly and we can see a bright future of our India. With this, I am concluding. Thank you.